Welcome back to Cinema Maven. In today's episode, we will talk about one of the most anticipated films of the year. Yes, you guessed it right. Killers of the Flower Moon. A story highlighting a toxic love story through a chilling vision of Native American genocide. Martin Scorsese and screenwriter Eric Roth have taken many details of David Grant's journalistic nonfiction novel and adapted it into textures and background tapestries. Two of the most admired actors throughout the world, Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio, have finally united in this film, lending it infinite star power. However, the real revelation here is Lily Gladstone as the wealthy Osage tribeswoman Molly Burkhart, who falls in love with DiCaprio's chauffeur character, but soon begins to see her family and culture slowly die in front of her. Gladstone turns in a stunning performance that starts out as sweet and powerfully self-assured, but that aura soon slips away as if the life were gradually being drained from her body. And from her eyes, Killers of the Flower Moon is about a string of murders in Oklahoma in the 1920s, whose victims were all part of, or connected to, an oil-rich Native community. One whose wealth was placed under white guardians by the U.S. government, but the murders were barely investigated at first. It's a murder mystery told from the murderer's point of view, packing a nauseating emotional punch thanks to how brazen its conspirators can be about killing a people they deem beneath them. For financial gain, no less, given how much power and political influence is on their side. In this way, Killers of the Flower Moon functions as an extension of, and a focused metaphor for, one of America's original sins, the mistreatment of its native populations across the centuries, and the casual carnage wrought upon them with little consequence. However, its Osage characters aren't rendered as mere sympathetic victims. They are, in terms of screen time, secondary only to DiCaprio and De Niro's quietly vicious characters, who hide behind their friendship to the Osage. DiCaprio plays Ernest, the enthusiastic lackey whose charm becomes buried beneath complicity, while De Niro plays his seemingly benevolent uncle, the scheming cattleman and business magnate William Hale, who audaciously refers to himself as the King of the Osage Hills. But the perspective of the Osage tribe is central to Killers of the Flower Moon's success. The script was heavily rewritten with Osage input, and it shows. So in addition to the brutality enacted upon them, this story is just as much about their culture, from their rituals and beliefs surrounding birth, death, and marriage, to the ways they move through the world. There are enough fully formed Osage characters that everything from reverence for tradition and tribal meetings to gossip and flirtatiousness is on full display. It gives us a vivid and deeply human sense of what and who was lost. But what especially keeps Killers of the Flower Moon interesting, despite its epic length, is its breakneck momentum. Killers of the Flower Moon maintains its captivating momentum through Scorsese's direction and expert editing, blending elements of a crime drama with stark reminders of violence. The film's lengthy runtime allows the weight of the story to sink in, particularly as it focuses on the complex relationship between the main characters. It keeps the audience engaged in the central mystery of morality and complicity, leading to an emotionally impactful conclusion. Scorsese's choice to leave some emotional questions unanswered emphasizes the lasting implications of the film's violence. The movie skillfully balances its energetic moments with the somber reality that violence is an ever-present threat, even in the most familiar settings. Killers of the Flower Moon is one of Scorsese's most brutal films, yet one of his most thoughtful and self-reflexive, as he crafts a subversive murder mystery that leaves no lingering questions save for one. It's a question that defines the tide of American history, just how far are people willing to go for greed? And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our deep dive into Killers of the Flower Moon. If you agreed with our take or think we missed something, please let us know in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on our future movie reviews and discussions.